Okay, I'm going to take a look at this folding light. It's pretty much plasticky. Why does it have a fan type thing on there? It's like it's meant to go on a chandelier. And turn that on. 35 watts. Package said 36 watts. Of course, it's just starting up. Power factor 0.61. Four hundred seventy milliamps. Uh, still thirty-five watts. Okay. And oh my gosh! Yes, that looks very bright. If I shut my lights off and use this as a <laughs> that was like a five thousand. Interesting. Okay, so the back, you can see through a little bit of the plastic. Now this is pretty bright. Okay, so yeah, I might as well start taking it apart. Okay, did that do anything? Yes, it did. Okay. Uh, this is a piece of plastic holding it in. Uh, it is all in series. And this thing is just sitting in here. <laughs> the driver is just, unless I pulled it out. Uh, I mean, it has a couple little slots in there, but that doesn't. What the heck? <laughs> it doesn't even fit. Okay, so yeah. So you can see down in there is a couple of slots that normally a circuit card would just slide right into, but this doesn't even fit in that. So this thing's just sitting in here lo loose. Uh, okay. Uh, let's open one of these up. All right. That is a lot. All right. Nothing on the back side. And the main thing to note is there's a couple, let's see if we get zoomed in here, a couple surface mounts underneath this resistor, and there's another surface mount resistor underneath this inductor which I didn't take off. Okay, so start with the power side. Got a fusible resistor. Uh, there's two spots on the circuit board for surface mount resistors. They are not on there. Typically that's for draining the capacitor. Um, you got a capacitor on the input uh, for, I assume, filtering high frequency. And we've got uh, diodes for rectification, uh, the inductor and resistor that I showed you where this resistor is underneath the inductor. And usually I end up seeing that on the positive rail, but it's on the negative. I don't think it matters. Uh, your smoothing capacitor. And then we cut over into the actual circuit. So the center part is an IC and that is a BP2867G, which is a non-isolated buck offline LED driver. I will throw the actual um, schematic from the data sheet up on the screen right now. So basically it looks pretty similar. They only added a couple things. Um, I could barely see what the values of these resistors were, but uh, just barely. Uh, the IC has two p 
pins that aren't used. One is controlling the current going into the LEDs. So because the colors are so horrible on blue, um, it's hard to tell whether some of these things are maroon or brown or what. Uh, but this particular one was look, brown, red, black, silver, brown. So I believe that was 1.2 ohms. Yeah, so either way, some of these, like this resistor, I couldn't find out what the ohms of it was, but uh, both of these together ohmed out to 2.2. But typically on other ones I've taken apart, that's actually like a around a 5K. So all the LEDs are over here in parallel, the three blades, I guess you'd call them are all in parallel, so I get technically nine in parallel and 24 in series. Uh, the voltage across them is 66.8. And when I hooked this up, it was 473 milliamps going to all of them. Parts list is in the description below. Any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below.